So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another role featuring Black Belt Montez, and in this role, we're going to have a lot of fun. So right here, Montez is going to grab the collar grip and the sleeve grip, and I'm going to grab a collar grip and the back of the tricep grip. As you can see, on our right-hand side, we're fighting for the inside grip. Uh, I keep trying to swivel my or pommel my arm on the inside, and he's trying to pommel his arm on the inside just to maintain that control. And uh, at a lot of these roles, I'm trying to just focus on staying on the feet a little bit more, just being more confident on the feet and kind of... Um, you know seeing what I can do now I like rolling with Montez a lot because he is closer to my size he's probably one of the closer people to my size and his skill level is definitely a lot better so it's always fun to roll with him so right here Montez tries to go for a takedown and I'm able to kind of um, brace for that and start setting up a, uh, a half guard position and start trying to work an over under position so right here um, what I'm going to start doing is breaking those grips that he has on the uh, on the collar. Uh, him and I talk a lot about this, uh, about my lack of breaking the grips on the collar. So right here, I'm trying to do like a sneaky little uh, half guard pass that I learned from my old coach in St. Louis that he learned, I believe, from Megaton Diaz. So it's, it's a very um, subtle movement, but you kind of fake them into thinking that they can come up in the half guard. And uh, because you have the grip on the sleeve and on the opposite pant leg, when they start to come up, you just pull it out from under them and uh, are able to pass. So maybe I'll do a instructional on the, on that move. Uh, here on the channel later. So right here, I'm not able to obviously get that move. Uh, Montez saw it coming, but right here, I'm going to start trying to pass uh, stapling his uh, right leg to the mat and trying to circle around his uh, left leg to initiate the pass. And as you can see right here, he's grabbing a grip on the collar right here, and he's got a good grip on the sleeve. And he's able to, when as soon as I put my elbow down to the mat, he's able to pull that uh, base that I had out from under me and come up on top. And I try to shrimp out and escape just to bring it back to the feet. But Montez is very, very quick and he follows me there. So I'm not able to do it right here. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to stiff arm and block his hip and uh, keep pressure on his shoulder to stop him from passing. And I'm able to do so and uh, stand up, kick my foot out and uh, start to stand and start to pass right here. So here I'm able to kind of crunch the legs together. He gets into a turtle position. But I'm going to start climbing up his legs, grabbing a grip on the collar right here, keeping my head nice and heavy, keeping my chest nice and heavy, bringing my my legs up to my body and start to uh, pressure and get into the uh, smashed half guard position here. So right there, I was just taking a little bit of a breather because this is like the fourth or fifth roll that uh, was happening during the open mat. So I needed to take a little break and that was a position to do it. So right here, I'm going to start to try to feed his lapel under his uh, shoulder and under his head so I can start grabbing it right here. As you can see, his legs are in a half guard position. When he tries to lift me, I figure for my legs and I kind of squeeze my knees together to stop him from elevating me and uh, making the space he needs to escape the position. So right here, I feed that lapel. I try to trap his arm. I'm not able to do so. So then I I feed it under his arm and try to feed it to my head right here by and also maintaining that figure four lock so as you can see we're at the end of the mat so one of my uh purple belt teammates is going to help us right here pause the action spin us around so we're not uh coming off the mat and uh letting us roll once again so montez and i are going to slap bump and we're going to continue the position as you can see i've still got my leg figure four because i kind of want to put the pressure on his face and uh, stop him from elevating me but he's able to start to bring his uh, left knee on the inside of the position he's got a good grip on the collar and now i need to figure out how i how i want to start to pass because i'm not going to be able to get a head position that i wanted here so right here i'm just kind of breaking the grips that he has on my collar and i'm going to start stripping the grips making sure you can't uh, get that sweep again and uh, then I'm going to start to figure out how I want to pass his half guard position and uh, like I said my legs are figure four locked because I don't want him to elevate me but in doing so I wasn't able to kind of keep the um have a base with my legs so he kind of just rolls over uh in the half guard position and now i'm in a compromised position here so i need to undo what i've been doing with my legs and as you can see he comes up on top but i'm able to whip that leg out and uh we had a wardrobe malfunction uh his pants came undone so right here we're just going to start from the feet because both of us were able to stand up so right here uh we're on the feet once again i'm trying to grab that uh that collar and that uh the tricep position right there and uh, Montez tried to go for a, a little a little foot sweep foot sweep a little fake right there as you can see he's got a high collar 
uh, high collar position and I'm just trying to brace making sure that um, I can stay close to him and uh, just trying to anticipate any type of throws or takedowns he's going to try to do so right here he's going to pull to guard I kind of anticipated him pulling to guard so I'm able to make an elbow knee connection and start to uh, try to stop him from uh, playing an open guard position right here so right here I'm just trying to grab the the collar and I'm trying to start uh, establishing my passing position but right here he comes up he starts swinging his leg in the half guard position and he gets me in a single leg so right here I'm going to do a single leg counter this is what I learned from my old coach Cal Watson in St. Louis where I'm going to spin and take my far arm and put it in the far hip and start to uh, set up a scramble I actually don't know what the name of that wrestling move is called if you know what that what that name is put it in the comment section below uh, I, I for the life of me I can't remember what it is but it's very very effective when someone has that low single so right here Montez opens the guard and gets a high single so I try to do the same thing but as you can see his hand placement was different before he his hand placement was closer to my ankle and here he had more of my thigh so I wasn't really able to free my leg and spin to the back what I should have done is try to kick out first and then spun to the back and see if that would have worked but now Montez is starting to attack the back I'm in a compromised position right here he's a uh, kind of establishing the the grips he wants on the collar before he starts setting up the back take position here so what I'm trying to do is stop him from getting his hooks over my body by keeping my knee nice and high and also fighting the the grips he has on the collar right here as you can see he gets one one leg in but it's not really a hook he kind of traps my arm with it because you can see my hips are kind of sprawled because I don't want any hooks to um, happen and I'm able to in that sprawl grab the collar and drive into him and start setting up the over under position and that's one of the ways that I like to escape the back or back attacks I kind of turn into them switch my hips grab the lapel and start to drive my way into them and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the roll so ladies and gentlemen that is the end of the roll it's always a pleasure roll with black belt montez mainly because he's the same size or we're close to the same size so it's always good to have a training partner that's you know doesn't outweigh you by a whole lot which is hard to find when you're in the light feather and featherweight divisions also he's a very skilled black belt so we always have scrappy rolls and i always end up learning a lot from him and it's always inspiring to see somebody that looks like you at the black belt level you know every time i see him i'm always like you know in a few years hopefully i'm that good and at that black belt level so let's get into the takeaways on that single leg i should have kicked my leg out a little bit more he had a high single and as opposed to being lower on my leg the first time i was able to hit that counter it's because his legs were his arms were lower and on the second time his arms were a little bit higher so i should have kicked my leg out to uh make the arms go lower and then i probably would have been able to hit that same counter and um all i need to do is just keep worrying about uh breaking those grips i, I did a little bit better job here i wasn't so um you know hyper focused on trying to pass i was able to strip some of the grips and uh just keep rolling so ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for watching the video and thank you guys for supporting the channel it truly means more than you know and i will catch you on the next one peace